I'm just gonna record. Let y'all see how these these babies do. Romeo, he is he's the man. He thinks me and my daughter and Juliet are his ladies. That's what he thinks. He's very, very protective of us. He's going to check on Juliet right now. These, these dogs, I tell you what, they crack me up. Be quiet now, baby. Hey, it's okay. You're all right. You are all right. It's all right, Romeo. It's okay. You want me to let that window down for you? There you go. <laughs> Juliet, that's enough, baby. She's so excited. She is just so excited. Just riding them around. I'm just riding them around. <laughs> Juliet, quiet, baby. But they, they get tired of being uh, in that house. You know, they need exercise, which when I go get my daughter, I think we're going to take them on the nature trail and let them run. We let them loose there where they can run off the off of the leash. So they enjoy it. The only problem about that nature trail, and I've seen this, um, it's actually on the Pensacola Airport's property, and there's signs that's up there that says no trespassing. Well, everybody else is walking on it, but I mean, I saw them uh, yesterday putting up um, security cameras, and I'm thinking to myself, why are they putting security cameras up? But I guess maybe because some people are going over there and dumping their trash in the dumpster. There's two, I think, two dumpsters over there. Maybe they, you know, I know they have signs up that says no dumping. But uh, that's the only thing I could think of is, um, yeah. 
they are uh, they, they're trying to stop people from dumping stuff but I'm worried because I, well I'm not worried but uh, it, it did occur to me and it occurred in my head that you know they it says no trespassing <laughs> you know um, and I, this because this this was what uh, the guy Jason I just signed up to his his uh, YouTube account and he was saying you know these things happen well I'm the I'm that person that these things happen to. I have the worst. Uh, I don't I don't think it's luck. I think it's intentional by the enemy. But you know, praise God, me and uh, me and the Lord, and I give God all the honor and the glory for it. it wasn't me, but uh, he and I are undefeated. Um, I, you know, I, there's been so many battles that we have faced. Um, together and um, God is an awesome uh, he's just awesome he, he's a provider he's a warrior for us and um, the bat but you know what in, in all honesty though the battle was won already has been won already it was won on the cross whenever uh, Jesus uh, sacrificed his life so we would have redemption of our sins. And I don't think, you know, we say that, you know, I accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. I know that he died on the cross so that I may have my may have salvation and forgiveness of my sins and have spend eternal life in heaven. But do we really, really understand the scope of that uh, when um, he's talking about, when the actual pain that he went through. Um, and then, you know, what and, and his mother, had to witness that I just every time I think about that I, I, I just I mean it, I get goosebumps because I just can't imagine you know giving up my uh, watching my son being nailed to a wooden cross and seeing him in agony and pain and he did nothing I tell you if that doesn't humble somebody, I don't know. I mean, and then, it, and, but Jesus is so much more. I mean, he's just, man, when you get in a relationship with him, the salvation is, is the best of everything. I, just, I wouldn't take nothing for my salvation. But, and I wouldn't take anything for my relationship with Jesus Christ. Nothing. I'd rather be living on a street. And that is the God's honest truth. Um, so that's why, you know, I look at life. Life has happened. You know, I, I didn't, it wasn't great. Things weren't that great. But, um, praise God. We're still undefeated. He and I. Although it's really... <laughs> okay, Juliet. I know. She does not... I don't wish... She starts barking barking when we stop we'll stop this video and we'll start another one